behind the guys that killed Biggie, Tupac, Easy. I'm, I'm people in music and Hollywood fear this guy, Diddy, as if he's untouchable. I'm going to my friend's funeral, but he shot my friend. It's crazy, right? And now they became respectable citizens. Hey fanatics, this time we're here with the news that changes everything. Straight out of the world of hip-hop, you remember the tragic death of Tupac Shakur, don't you? But what if we told you that everything you knew and thought was true regarding his mysterious death was all a lie? Recently, Mike Tyson dropped a bombshell that changed everything. He hinted that Diddy was involved in Tupac's death. All the people in his gang, all the people in the gang over here, some of them are related, and now they're killing, it, killing each other. Mm. And today, we're going to break down what this new evidence means and try to uncover the truth about a tragic event that forever changed hip-hop history. So stay tuned and smash that subscribe button for all the latest celebrity news. Let's get into it. Mike Tyson claims that he has solid proof connecting Sean Diddy Combs to Tupac's death. And I thought Keefe D was telling the truth. You know, I felt that he had nothing to lie about. During a candid interview with DJ Vlad, Mike made a heartfelt confession, admitting that he shares some responsibility for Tupac's tragic death. Their unlikely friendship began when Mike Tyson was already a star, while Tupac was still trying to make a name for himself. When I first became champ, I knew him. I remember him. He used to have crates when he used to have my after parties and stuff. Also when they were throwing parties. They crossed paths in a nightclub where Tupac, with his incredible singing talent, left a strong impression on Tyson. Eventually, their shared interest in boxing brought them even closer, solidifying their unbreakable bond of friendship. In a recent Drink Champs interview with DJ EFN Inori, Mike shared an extraordinary story from his 1992 prison stint. He talked about a memorable encounter with Tupac during an after-party in California. Tyson instructed security to let a group of young men, including Tupac, enter the venue through the back. And boy, when Tupac walked in, everyone started clapping. They respected him. As soon as he came in the room, they started applauding. Wow. Yeah. He had earned everyone's respect. It was simple. If Tupac liked you, it was all love. But if he didn't, he was ready for confrontation. Nas, who had a brief feud with Tupac, had plans to meet him in Vegas as they were working on resolving their issues. Tyson recalled the time, saying, We both knew we were supposed to continue that conversation and probably just squash the whole thing. I was scheduled to meet him in Vegas. However, after a few days, news broke that Tupac had been found dead and Tyson vividly remembers that time, saying, I remember that fight because I remember talking to Tupac, making sure he had the tape because I was coming out with his music. I was calling him, trying to make it on time. Tyson, who was just coming out of the music world himself, had decided to meet Tupac on his own. Unfortunately, the meeting couldn't happen because Tupac tragically passed away that day. Now, Mike was at home with his newborn daughter when he got the devastating news. Here's how he recalled it. I couldn't believe it. I told him I am coming to see you. I got dressed, but then I had to go see my daughter. Somebody told me he had been shot, and the next morning, they released the news that he had died. To this day, Tyson carries the weight of regret, haunted by the idea that if he had arrived just a few minutes earlier, he might have been able to help Tupac and prevent his tragic death. His heart still aches with the pain of not being able to protect his friend and witnessing the aftermath of that fateful night. He carries this burden, wishing he could turn back time and change the course of events. The memories of their friendship and the strong bond they shared serve as a constant reminder of what could have been and the profound impact Tupac's loss had on his life. Tyson said, Expecting someone to die after a fight, someone getting hurt, or something crazy happening is one thing. But what happened to him, it was different. On September 13, 1996, the world lost the iconic musician after a brave battle for his life. His untimely death left a void in the hearts of countless fans, and the mystery surrounding his murder remains unsolved, adding to the enduring pain of his loss. 
Some fans believe that cases like Tupac's remain unsolved due to bribery or threats to authorities to keep them silent and protect certain interests. Much like other celebrity deaths labeled as suicides to maintain control and silence those who may have damaging information. Tupac's legacy as a brilliant artist and advocate for the marginalized continues to shine brightly. Yet the unanswered questions surrounding his death serve as a constant reminder of the injustice and sorrow of his death. But you know what? Things are changing. This time, Tyson has issued a warning to those responsible for Tupac's death, suggesting that he no longer faces the same threats as before. According to some insiders, one person who was with Tupac at the time of his death was Diddy. So, Tyson has pointed fingers toward Diddy in several interviews. When asked about his closeness to Pete Diddy, he mentioned that he knew him for a long time, even before he became Diddy. He recalled how Diddy used to handle his music at his after parties when he was the heavyweight champion. I knew him before he was um, Diddy, and I knew him for a long time. I remember him, he used to have crates when he used to have my after parties and stuff, also when they were throwing parties. Tyson also reflected on his journey and how he had managed to leave negative influences behind, a stark contrast to his past experiences. He reminisced about his early years when he was 11 or 12 years old and how it amazed him to think that he had left certain people behind, believing he would never see them again at that level. He also acknowledged that success had touched the lives of those people as well. Regarding Diddy's possible connection to Tupac's murder, the focus on this matter intensified when the case of Biggie Small's murder was reopened in 2006 at the request of Biggie's mother, Valletta Wallace. During this process, LAPD detective Greg Kading stumbled upon new information that seemed to link Diddy to Tupac's killing. Kading was part of the multi-law enforcement task force investigating the murders of Tupac and Biggie. He came across evidence that clearly suggested Diddy's involvement. Kading believed that both Biggie and Tupac's deaths were connected. He uncovered fresh evidence while investigating Biggie's murder that linked both cases. His assistants to take care of of uh, Suge, and of course Tupac's name came up and he was kind of added to the list according to Keefe D. Kading stated that during his investigation, they discovered that Sean Puff Daddy Combs allegedly ordered a $1 million hit on Tupac Shakur. The motive was believed to be connected to the heated rap feud involving Diddy and Biggie Smalls. Kading also asserted that Diddy had significant gang connections in Los Angeles and had enlisted the services of Crips member Dwayne Keith Keith D. Davis to carry out the assassination. According to Kading, Tupac's murder was orchestrated by Crips gang member Orlando Baby Lane Anderson. Initially, Keith D was supposed to carry out the hit, but a last-minute change resulted in Keith's nephew performing the assassination. Hours before the shooting, Baby Lane had a physical altercation with Tupac at a Las Vegas casino. After the shooting, Diddy heard about Tupac's injuries and hospitalization. There are claims that Biggie Small's former wife, Faith Evans, was aware of Diddy's alleged plot to kill Tupac. After Tupac's murder, Keith D reportedly reached out to Diddy and Evans to inform them of their involvement in a tragic event. Fans have been vigilant and attentive to this case, and they were aware of many details before the official investigation began. Some fans have questioned the autopsy process, while others have expressed anger and frustration over Tupac's murder. Tyson himself has issued a public warning to the person responsible for Tupac's death indicating that he won't let them off the hook if he ever comes across them anywhere. Dwayne Keith Davis, also known as Keith D, confessed to being a witness to Tupac Shakur's murder in an interview for the American crime documentary Unsolved the Tupac and Biggie Murders. He revealed that he was seated in the front passenger seat next to the driver, Terrence Brown, on the night of the murder. DeAndre Smith and Davis's cousin Orlando Anderson, all members of the Southside Crips gang, were in the back seat. Davis claimed to be speaking out now due to having cancer, which he believed granted him immunity from prosecution. According to Davis, they were on their way to Suge Knight 662 Club in Las Vegas to confront Tupac, who had reportedly beaten up one of their fellow gang members earlier that day. However, Tupac didn't appear at the club while they were there. As they were leaving, they spotted Tupac driving towards the club. Davis did not name the shooter, but mentioned that the shots came from the back seat. And he chose to keep the identity of the shooter hidden, citing the code of the streets. 
He also shared details about the altercation and claimed that he never received the promised million-dollar compensation for his involvement. There were definitely allegations that Diddy was involved in Tupac's murder, and these claims have resurfaced in recent years. Davis went ahead and made the dramatic claim that not only did he notify Diddy about the murder plan, but he was also able to receive a payment of $1 million from the hip-hop star. Furthermore, Davis has hinted at Diddy's active role in plotting the assassination. His confession certainly adds to the complexity of the case, but it remains a subject of ongoing investigation and debate in the public eye. Some other figures in the music industry, like Eminem, have also raised questions about Diddy's potential involvement in the past. Now, obviously, Diddy has consistently denied any involvement in Tupac's murder and called such allegations lies. But what do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll catch you in the next video.